Okay, in this video I will show you how to use machine translation in Omega T for Windows. So first I have to go to Options, Machine Translate and here I'll select Google Translate. I'll go back to the same place, option Machine Translate, and I'll also select Microsoft Translator as the second engine. So I have now both Google Translate and Microsoft Translator selected. Now this is not sufficient because I have to enter my credentials for both Google Translate and Microsoft Translator. I need to go to my C drive and Program Files folder and to my Omega T folder here. And here there's a setup file for Omega T uh, named Omega T dot L4J dot ini. And this is the file where I need to enter my credentials. Just in case I will move this file to my desktop and I will make the changes on my desktop. And this is because in Windows, depending on your security settings, you may not be able to edit the file directly under program files. So I'll open this file. I'll fetch my credentials that are here. Obviously, these are not the real ones, so don't try to use them as they won't be working. I will enter my Google key here. I will enter my Microsoft client ID here and my Microsoft client secret here. And if you don't have uh, credentials for Google Translate and Microsoft Translator, I have made uh, videos explaining how to obtain these credentials and I'll include a link in the description below. So now I can save this file and I will copy it back to the Omega T folder like this. Continue. Okay. And if I go back to Omega T, I should now be able to see machine translations here in the machine translation tab. Yes, I have one for Google Translate and one for Microsoft Translator. What I can do if I want to see all the time these translations, I can undock this pane here and I will move it here. And now I can see all the time my Google Translate and Microsoft Translator translations. So if I want to copy the first uh, machine translation from uh, Google Translate, I can do it via edit and replace with machine translation or control M. Now, if I wanted to use the second machine translation from Microsoft Translator, unfortunately, there is no separate command for doing so. So what I need to do is select it like this and press Ctrl C and then move back to my editor and press Ctrl V like this. So it's not really convenient if you have multiple machine translation services and you want to use another one, uh, than, not the first one. So here I'll make a few changes like in Google and I'll correct this one here like this. Now I can move to the next segment with Ctrl N. And again, I get uh, two proposals from Google Translate and Microsoft Translator. So again, I can insert the first translation with Ctrl M or menu edit replace with machine translation. So there you have it, how to use machine translation in Omega T for Windows. I have also made a similar video with instructions on Mac and uh, I've included a link in the description field below. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more similar content aimed at translators and see you in the next video.